Guys, it's Helena. I hope you're all very, very well. I want to share something with you today about procrastination, something that I learned in the ILN University back office. And this can really purge years and years of procrastination from your life. And it's basically, this is what we have to do, is uh, we get a pen and paper and we make a list of all the things that we want to do or that we should do, things that we've been thinking about doing. Right? I mean, how much time do you spend thinking of things that you want to do? Or things that you should do. I mean, you know, Tony Robbins says that we should all over ourselves, right? <laughs> and um, this is really about uh, eliminating that to create a new, stronger mindset and to invite your new lifestyle into your life, you know? So, what you do is you just make a list of everything health related that you've been thinking about. Uh, you know, it could be going to the dentist, checking out your back, getting, I don't know, a a, a treatment, a spa treatment, going to see, uh, I don't know, a physiotherapist, anything like that, you write it down and write down next to it how long you've been thinking about that. And then you do that for anything household. So, you know, that drawer that you've been meaning to empty, uh, I don't know, if cleaning out your, your cupboard, your fridge, your kitchen. Um, and it's about being really picky. Really be picky with your standards. Really bring your standards up. So, anything like your clothes. If you want new clothes, how are you going to get new clothes if your clothes if your wardrobe is full of clothes, you know, invite your new clothes in by removing some of your old ones, you know, empty that space. And with clothes, if certain clothes are kind of, you know, I don't know, raggedy, if they've got holes in it, if they hold a certain memory or, or energy, you know, if you, if you wear it or even look at a certain piece of clothing and it makes you think of a person, a situation, an experience, get rid of that. You don't need that. That's holding that energy, right? So it's about being really picky and little, you know, shampoo bottles with tiny bit of shampoo. Why? Get rid of that. <laughs> you know, it's really about purging. And then to do with your business, anything maybe, you know, paperwork you've been meaning to get to or um, your business account you've been meaning to open up, seeing an accountant, business advisor, whatever it is, write these things down. Write down how long you've been thinking about them. If it's two days, two weeks, two months, two years, just write it down anything to do with, you know, maybe you've had money making ideas, you've been meaning to sell your car, sell your house, sell, I don't know, a piece of technology, some equipment you've got, write it down, um, any ideas, like if you've been writing a book or you're thinking about, you know, product or service um, and then you've sort of talked yourself out of it, write it down, write down how long you've been thinking about it. Anything to do with, you know, technology, like your phone. <laughs> You know, you don't need certain apps in your phone if you don't use them. So get rid of certain apps, get rid of certain pictures. If you've got all these pictures in your phone, you know, everything has energy. So whatever you've got in your phone is what you're carrying that energy around with you all the time. So if you've got pictures of like a negative kind of nature, that you're holding that energy, you're carrying that energy all day with you, every day, putting it next to your face and carrying it around with you. And one question that Mark Culberson asked us was, um, how much does your phone really weigh? You know, how much crap have you got in that phone? <laughs> you know, not his words, but you know, how much stuff have you got in your phone? So, you know, deleting things, you know, emails, if you've been meaning to um, delete emails and clear out your email account, how long have you been thinking about that? Write all these things down. Photos, you know, delete the ones that you don't really need in your phone, but save the ones that like transfer your pictures that do mean something to you onto your laptop because if you ever lose your phone you don't want that to be like a really traumatic experience for you because you've lost all your pictures um and anything miscellaneous so anything like a phone call you're supposed to make like maybe you know you've been thinking of making to your mom or to a friend or anything like that you've been thinking about it you haven't done it write these things down write down how long how much time you spent on them so this is what um we've done and this is what i done yesterday and my first million dollar day, I spent 14 hours and I purged, I calculated, I purged four years, <laughs> five months and three weeks worth of procrastination. So this is really, really powerful, guys. If you want your new lifestyle, if you want improvement in your life, you have to be really, really fussy about your standards and your quality. And it, this really surprised me. It shocked me because... I am really into the Chinese art of Feng Shui or Feng Shui, I don't know how you pronounce it because I just read it through, <laughs> through books, but um, you know, I'm, I'm really fussy about um, you know, like the energy in my home and anyone that knows me uh, knows that I'm very, you know, about the placement, like placing things in my furniture in certain ways and you know, the colour and energy and the yin yang, I try and balance the energy in my home. So when you come, everything looks really clean 
and tidy and neat and everything. But I had boxes full of things that, if you asked me what's in that box, I couldn't tell you. I would have to go and open the box and look. Or drawers full of things that I don't really need or use. So I just purged so much like yesterday and I finished 2 30 in the morning 14 hours later absolutely exhausted but I felt so clear I felt wonderful I felt much lighter and then um, I had all of these bags full of you know crap <laughs> really to throw out and it it was so heavy it took me to I had to go to my lift twice and come back just to take this stuff it was so heavy and I was thinking look at all this crap and I had two big bags full of rubbish um, two massive bags just full of paper and cardboard and you know for recycling and then two massive bags of clothes and shoes that I d you know I don't wear and belts and things like that for charity so um, you know yeah your, your clothes you know you can give away to charity um, or if they you look too raggedy then you can use it to clean up while you're purging and then just <laughs> throw that away so yeah um, my first million dollar day it was really um, really really good <laughs> I felt great and I can't wait for my second million dollar day where it's going to be, um, you know, all the tech stuff um, that I'm going to be doing. So, you know, purging my phone and my laptop and things like that. So, um, let me know. I want you to, you know, try this out. Let me know. Chime in below. Connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, do this and let me know how many years of procrastination you've eliminated from your life. Um, if you like this video, please click on the link below. Find out more about ILN. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions or anything, then just feel free to connect with me. And yeah, take care guys. See you. Bye.